Hey everybody, Old Man Seth is checking in. Today we are going to be going over how you can get more gold faster in Rogue Legacy 2. Now, this is going to be something that you can do relatively early in a new save file, or you can go back to an existing one and open it up right away. But, you can do this incredibly early in the game and start earning a lot more gold so that you can get a lot more things open a lot faster. So we are gonna be going over something very, very briefly here. I'm gonna show you exactly how you wanna do your castle building to make this happen as early as possible. And a couple other ways that you can actually, you know, earn a little bit more cash whenever you're getting the save file going in Rogue Legacy 2. So let's go ahead and get to it, everybody. Let's do this. All right, everybody, here we are. Time to take a look at our castle. And you can already see, if you just look down there in the corner, I'm only level 45 and you can already earn more gold right off the bat. So we're gonna take a look at our castle build here, okay, everybody? What I want everyone to notice is that I've opened up quite a bit of the bottom, and you can see I've already screeched all the way up to the top of two rows to the right from the very beginning middle, right? So you start the game right here at Universal Health Stair, and then you build out from there, right? So what you need to do, there's two different things that we're gonna do here to actually earn you some more gold. One is to get the offshore bank account, and then the one immediately to its left, which is repurposed mining shaft. Now this one isn't as important. You may not want to upgrade it right away. It's not relatively that expensive, but before you start pouring money into that, you really want to get all the way up to the massive vault, okay? So what you need to do is you need to focus on that one. Now, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get all the way to level 42 to unlock the pirate. So if you take a look here really fast, everybody, you can see that again, I've spent very minimal money and everything else. I was always looking out with all these base upgrades, trying to make sure that I'm, I'm purchasing the least expensive stuff, right? So you can take a look at my skill tree, can kind of get an idea. I accidentally went over when I was doing this before I made this video. And uh, unfortunately I'm at level 45, but we could have actually been at level two and, or 42 and actually opened up this entire thing. So as you open up all this, you're gonna need to be level 42 to finally get up to the, to the pirate. You'll need level 30 to open up the Dragon Lancer, and then it looks like uh, the Blast Furnace is actually level 36. So as you hit that, that, and then level 42 to open up the Massive Vault, this is what you're looking for, okay? Now, I'm gonna show everybody really quick, step by step, how you open up the Massive Vault so you can actually utilize this. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go back out to town. Now, as long as you have it ready to rock and roll and it's open, what you wanna do is come into the Soul Shop and make your way up to the kids right up here. So we'll go up to the kids, make sure you hit them. Let's start talking to them. Now, the only thing that you're gonna be able to do right off the bat is do the embroidered vestments. But as soon as you get the embroidered vestments, it's only another 50 for Runic Horizons. And then all of these down here open up. Now, these are the really important ones. This is how you're gonna unlock that massive vault. So what you can do is open up Unbreakable Will that immediately opens up the vault and what you can do later is when you actually get the souls for it, as you can see, it costs 150 to upgrade it. We only have the 100, so I can't show you any more. But what this allows is that very first level of the massive vault. Now again, the massive vault is such a big deal because it actually applies to any character that you take out on any run. So not only will you get the bonuses from somebody with a really awful negative trait, but you're also going to get this bonus on top of it. That's why this one is so important, and that's why if you can, at the very beginning of your run, just race towards this bad boy. Do a couple of the missions that you have to do to actually get the required souls and you're gonna be fine. So we're gonna even go over that really fast. I'm pretty sure on this save, I never did any of these and I didn't. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I got the souls from some boss kills because this was an EA save before they actually hit full release recently. One of the things you can do to earn this really fast is do some of these scars. And these scars you'll absolutely positively find pretty early on in the game as well. Otherwise, you can just get them from boss kills. Definitely a, a bad thing in terms of the uh, requirement for this, but if you're able to do it, definitely do it. Earn yourself some souls, and that's how you're going to open that up. So, like I said, I have the gold for it, so I'm actually going to go back here and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So you can see, before we do it, you can see I have no bonus gold up there in the, the, the gold reading, right? So when we go in here, all you gotta do, come up here, we're gonna buy both of them, right? Because you can see right now our maximum level is two because we weren't able to upgrade it one more time. So I'm gonna buy them both. Go ahead and knock that one up. Do it one more time. We're gonna come back down here and you're gonna see right away we're at plus 10%, right? You can get this all the way up to plus 50% for even just a regular old play 
of a regular character with no negatives. That is why this is such an important part of your building and why, if you can, focus on that in your early game and you're just gonna start raking in a lot more money than you normally would. It will add up so fast and you'll be able to start unlocking so much more in your castle. So the one last thing that we're gonna take a look at as well before we go, the other important thing you can use to help you do this without like using runes or anything else because there's definitely a bounty rune that you can use out there and you can earn more gold by equipping that is there we go the repurposed mining shaft so if you are using characters that have really bad negative traits like pacifist or something like that this is just going to earn you a lot more gold every time you have this upgraded you can even start increasing this as well because each one of those little areas i saw i showed you in the soul shop if we were to increase the one or buy the one that affects this, the cap would actually go up to 11 or 12 or 13 and so on and so forth. So buying these early really works out for you as well because again, you're just gonna start earning more gold. You can see right away, it's gonna give us another 10% when we pick somebody with a negative trait. So easily, right off the bat, as early as level 42, you can actually open this up right here, a massive vault, and this is what you want to start earning a lot more gold for yourself here in Rogue Legacy 2. Now, one more thing that you're gonna find really, really early in the game, and even I found it really early on this save, is the bounty rune that I just mentioned. So this is another one that you wanna focus on in the early game if you can get it. As you can see, I found it very early in this one. You'll be able to buy it for a relatively cheap price. I'm pretty sure it's right along the same thing as the Magnesis rune right here. It might be 500 out of 500, maybe even 1,000 of 1,000. But if you open up the bounty rune, always have this equipped. There's literally no reason for you to not have this equipped in the early game and even through the mid game as you make your way through your first playthrough and as you get into new game pluses. You're just gonna get more bang for your buck. It's gonna help you out. We can actually see it's already changed out here. We're now earning 20% gold just by having that, that bounty rune on. And again, this is a character with no negative traits. This is a regular try hard run of the mill. I wanna get out there and absolutely smash everything kind of character. So really quick tips. I hope you guys can all utilize this. I hope you guys can all focus on this and open this up because it's only gonna serve you well as you continue to make your way through Rogue Legacy 2. It's a huge help. It's helped me in my saves. It helped me get through the grind much, much quicker than constantly throwing new characters into the meat grinder and trying to earn a little bit of that sweet money so you could come back and upgrade things. So that's it for me, everybody. I hope this helps all of you on your journey. Make sure that you leave any comments below if you have anything to say or any questions to ask, and I will do my best to answer them. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll definitely be putting out more videos very, very soon, and I appreciate everyone watching today. I hope you all have a wonderful time with this amazing game, Rogue Legacy 2. It's definitely one of my favorites, and I hope that you guys are all enjoying it just as much as I am. Get out there, earn that gold, and we'll definitely see you back here soon, guys.